All week, we've been asking yeah. people to submit topics for today's show. So, by the way, the rest of the show, we're going to talk to Jake Trotter of ESPN. He's going to come in from like 12 to 12.25. Besides that, those 20-some-odd minutes with Jake, nothing but your questions that you've sent to Mikey, sports, non-sports, no politics, no religion, everything else is fair. And so we're going to get as many right. of these questions as possible. Some of them we may go five, six minutes. Some we may go 30 seconds. It depends on the question. Yep. Let's we go, We have Mike. made graphics for at least 25. Okay. And I have about 50 more just in my DMs. That and we have not seen any of them. We they have, have not no seen clue. Any. We're all totally answer, new. We're answering yep. spur of the moment here. So we're going fresh. Yeah. All going fresh. Top. Fresh, fresh. There we go. I'm going to pull the super up. It is officially Viewer's Choice Friday. Yeah. Question number one comes from Grant Pusker. Grant Which of the Husker. unbreakable records in sports is most likely to be broken? I love this one. I like this. Well, I- I'll tell you guys. I'll start with this. And obviously, you can't say Kareem because LeBron's going to break. The I was going to say that. That was a record when I was when Kareem broke the scoring record. Yeah. As a kid, when I you know I, I guess I was a teenager by that point, but I remember when Kareem broke that record. I said nobody's breaking that record. Mm-hmm. The thirty-nine years. And now, ago. listen. At the time, I didn't know we didn't. None of us knew at the time what the three-pointer was going to become in the NBA, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. and that's factored in. That's a huge advantage that LeBron has. Kareem made one three-pointer in his career. Mm-hmm. He wasn't shooting three-pointers, uh, but still, Brad, I, I don't know about you, but I never thought that record would be broken. After Kareem broke Wilt's record, I didn't think that was. I thought that was like the yeah. Mount Everest. It wasn't going to ever be reached again. Yeah. But uh, the having the three-point uh, shot. shot in the game. Yeah. The pace of the game that's being played now, the promotion of running yeah. up high scores, and then the longevity. The, the, that's that's the, right. That's the other thing. He played for 20 years. Right. Right. And he's still playing. Right. Is there a record that you guys can think of that you, you thought maybe would never be broken besides this? Now you think it might be? Uh, like a lot of those uh, old school baseball records are never getting broken. Well, I, I think here, I'll, I'll go a team record. I don't think anybody's yeah. going to ever break the Miami Dolphins record. No, I but how about the question of will uh, a record that – they want a record that seems impossible to break, but we think is going to get broken, right? I, I have an impossible answer. I got one for you. You shoot first. I think somebody's going to score over 100 points and break Wilt's record. I don't see that. There's so much scoring uh, now. We just talked about it. I think somebody, they're going to try to do it purposely one day, and somebody's going to shoot a crazy amount, hit like 23 um, in a game, something insane. I think it'll get broken uh, someday. Let, let me, Go let me I'm going I'm to I'm think. Um... I think the closest that will be re- that can be beat, I think somebody will break the um, 200 meter men's record. Well, I didn't even know that. Yeah, 19, 19 three, something, three two. nine, three nine, two nine. What is it? Nineteen two. Who holds Nineteen one nine is uh, Usain Bolt. Oh yeah. And then nineteen five, or excuse me, nine five three. I think is uh, is the hundred meter record. Nineteen one nine is the two hundred. Mm-hmm. What do you got, Mikey? I'm not sure if this is considered an unbreakable record. I'm not sure if it fits in that category, but Emmitt Smith is 2,000 more rushing yards than anyone else in NFL history. And I do think, despite the fact we're going towards a more passing league, yeah, this was the highest yards per carry average we've ever seen. So many dudes had over 1,200 rushing yards this year. I, I don't think that number is impossible now. No, nah, I think you're nuts no. because they're always going to be moving on to the next guy. Right. None of these guys last long enough. In a year-by-year basis, guys, I, I think in the NFL – We'll see some of these yearly records get broken mm-hmm. in terms of rushing yards, maybe passing yards, receiving yards. But I don't think the career, I don't think anybody's rushing for more yards than Emmitt Smith because it's so rare to see a running back be that good for that long. Like Emmitt, Emmitt's a great back. I agree with G. I actually think when we, assuming Nick Chubb stays healthy for another few years, I think we may look back and say Nick Chubb was a better back than Emmitt Smith, but he's not going to have more yards because he won't play as long. Yeah. Like, it, it, I just, like, guy, he was great. He was awesome for a long time that's hard I, I I do think that there's a lot of them there's one that, that will never ever be broken uh 2,632 games the, the Cal Ripken oh, yeah, 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 none of those old baseball records I mean nobody's Bye. the, the all-time I, record in wins in baseball and is 512 I, 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 I mean, say I'll say this about LeBron's chase here right the one thing that I marvel at LeBron is, is this is the fact that um, in order to do what he's done you have to play a yeah. lot. You have to play he hasn't missed significant time right, overall. Right, right. He is one of the few that show up pretty much every night. Yeah. Right? I don't say a few. The, he has an old school mentality. Yeah. Right? I don't sit it out. And that, that's what I like about him, right? Because this thing here, I'm going to just tell you, I don't know, I'm going to get off on a tangent, but this thing here with this, this 
low management thing. It's just, it, it's just, especially it's, like it's it's more guys. It's, it's unfair it's, to it's, these young it, fans. It, it's, it's irritating. It sucks because if you have these great players that these, especially kids, forget the adults, the kids, you want to be able to see these guys in person, right. and they maybe only come to your city once a year, and you don't get to see them. That sucks. All right, Mikey, what's up next? Question number two comes from Gabby Weaver. When you get dressed in the morning, do you put your socks on first or last? Well, that's a great question. Uh, G, you want to start us off on that? Um, I guess you can't put them on last. You got to put your sneakers on or shoes on last. Yeah, well, but, but I, the sneakers for, doesn't count. Not including last, that. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, will, I will go. They, they usually go on last for me. Brad? It's, it's, it's pretty near the top. It's it's probably the second thing I put on. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have no routine. There's some days I put my pants on and then my socks. And some days I put my socks and then my pants. Yeah. I don't have a set routine. Th- that is true. I would go more with bull. Like, I don't, it's not like I, my world's going to end if yeah. I don't put some my socks on. Some people are like, man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a routine guy. You like, are. I'm, I'm with you, Brad. I'm a routine guy. Underwear I, I, than socks. There it Underwear, is. socks. Yep. Socks is the second thing I put second on every thing. day. Second day. Sometimes I put, I, this is a bold move. I sometimes put on like an undershirt even before my underwear. That's strange. Do you have pants on? <laughs> that's no. strange. You, you that's can't, weird. I just you, like the fellas to dry off a bro, little bit. Bro, 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 you can't have, <laughs> you can't be walking around <laughs> with, I'm with a t-shirt. My wife says to me, the other day she saw me, like I got out of the shower, I dried off, I just had a t-shirt no. on, no underwear. Uh-uh, she, uh-uh. My, this is what my wife said to me. She goes, what are you, Porky Pig in it? Right, right. <laughs> If your wife do that, sure, we yeah, work, we move a, with that's that. A that's a oh, woman's man. move. That's a that's a sexy move. You are a grown man. I'm not trying to be sexy. And you got bull, got bull come get out the shower and lotion his body down, <laughs> lotion his body down, and he go put on a oh, ninety, man. a little long to one of his long t-shirts, and get in the bed and cross his legs oh, and be it. wet. <laughs> I, my, I like I the got, feeling of the cool sheets on my tush, man. I love it. All right, Mikey, no, number Before we number go next one, while we're still in socks, <laughs> yeah. can you guys sleep in socks? I think the person no. No. Psycho, a psycho move if you sleep no. in socks. No. Women can sleep in socks because women are often cold, but men sleeping in socks is completely inappropriate. What? Yeah, what? I, yeah, 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 it. I can't. <laughs> Brad sleeps in I socks. Can't. I, I can't. Uh, no, nah, man. I cannot sleep. I, like I can't. My, I can I only like my, sleep. I like my feet to be cold. I have to be in underwear only to sleep. I cannot wear have any clothes on. Yeah, yeah, none of that. And, and, and I do think like one of the worst feelings in the world is if you if you are a person who accidentally like if you sit there and you dirt tired and you got your clothes on and you accidentally fall asleep on top of the covers with fully clothed, yeah. oh, man. you feel dirty. You're just like, yeah, that's I, true. I'm sleeping. That's true. By the I'm way, getting, getting, getting in the bed, it's That's okay good. if you're over the covers, but getting in your bed with clothes that you've worn outside that ah, That's nasty. That's nasty. That's, nasty. That's so That's nasty. nasty. That is <laughs> nasty. nasty. That, that is not nasty. That is nasty living. Clean your life up yeah. if you Ugh. go do that. Oh, my gosh. Get, get your life. <laughs> like, <laughs> get your right. life. That's next. a good question. That's Very good, good question. question. Great question. Okay, Gabby next Weaver. One. <laughs> Next one comes from Steve Becker. Oh, Steve. Uh, oh, look look at Steve. Steve. Steve looks kind of young Steve. right there. I don't know when you took that, Steve. <laughs> you you took that in, in 1987. That's what looks Shout like. Shout out to Steve, by the way, that who lo- made a Twitter just to DM a question for this. That What's looks it? like Steve was at like day camp, <clears throat> and he just finished his arts and crafts that like, project. That looked like Steve with TJ Holmes, don't it? <laughs> look, look, look at that. What is going on? I, I think All it's right. a UFC fighter. This is from Steve's uh, okay. Fox days at UFC. Yeah. Okay, the question though. From Steve, who we don't know, by the way. Thanks for the submission, Steve, whoever yeah. you are. Give me a raise. Are hot dogs and hamburgers <laughs> considered sandwiches? Oh, that's an uh, age-old question. Well, yeah. hamburgers are a sandwich. Hot dogs aren't. I say both are not. Sandwich, I'm going to tell you what sandwiches consist of. Sandwiches consist of lunch mostly meat. lunch and deli cuts <laughs> and condiments. <laughs> you got to have peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. You can So a hamburger's not a sandwich. No, nah, that's more of the, 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 the What is it? What is it's it? A, it's by itself. I don't know. It's just a hamburger. <laughs> it's yeah, by right. itself <laughs> over here in the left. That column is a is a meat sandwich. Like if, if somebody says to you, hey, Mike, I'm going to get sandwiches. You want a sandwich? Would you ever respond and say, yeah, get me a hamburger? No. If no. they came back with a hot dog and, like, hey, I'm going to get sandwiches, and they came back and handed me a hot dog, you'd be like, I'd throw fists. That's, yeah. not, that's not a sandwich. When somebody gets that's sandwiches. That's what I'm saying. It's not a sandwich. What no. about Sa- hamburger, Mikey? Sandwiches denote a Jersey Mike's. Yeah, like Jersey Mike's. That's a Jimmy John's move. The burgers you ain't call a hamburger sandwich? Mm. Uh, they do. Well, yes. I've. 
Yeah, yeah I've, seen, I've seen Call some menus. That's I've, inappropriate. Um, <laughs> now, the hot dog is totally out of the blue. Hot dog, hot dog is out of the question. Hey, everybody agrees on hot dogs. So, hot why are you a hot dog? A sandwich. Here. It's really don't, hamburger. Yeah. Uh, listen, I don't do hot dogs, but when I did do them, don't give me no hot dog with all that mess on it, right? It's just too much stuff on it. Like, I mean, it's just don't worry me. I down. don't need all that. And by the way, if you go have hot dogs, like, listen, first of all, don't give me no the little ki kids hot dog. Don't be having me. Your hot dogs is supposed to consist of 100,000% beef. Don't have no mix of chicken, <laughs> pork, Cow turkey, lips. None of the hooves, Pig guts. none of that. <laughs> Get me together with a with a hundred percent. Got the Hebrew National. Man. I, I, the Hebrew National. Kosher joints. Kosher joints. And, yeah. and, and, and it got a different snap to it when you yeah. when you don't have it boiling in that water neither. Best hot dogs you ever. Oh, yeah, Nathan's hot. Have you ever had a Nathan's hot no. dog from Nathan's in Brooklyn? No, no. no. that's the best. Uh, is listen. it Coney Island? The OG? In Coney Island. Yeah. Okay, I thought I said Brooklyn. We're gonna go to Brooklyn. Well, Coney we'll, Island we'll is in that. Brooklyn. <laughs> is, is that considered the same? I always thought Coney Island was at separate. Oh my God! Separate and our sausages. You grew hot up dogs. in the area. How did you not Coney know Island that? was just always Coney, Coney Island. Island <laughs> is a neighborhood <laughs> in Brooklyn. You can't yeah. have a neighborhood in a neighborhood. Jesus asked a great. Brooklyn is not a neighborhood. Brooklyn, Brooklyn is a borough. Well, well, Brooklyn's not a neighborhood. Well, let me ask. You, let me Brooklyn ask you. by itself would be the fifth largest city in America. I know, but it's still part of New York City. So it's the, a borough in New York City. So it's the not borough, a neighborhood. The borough is equivalent to what? Here. I mean, it's bigger than Cleveland. A borough would be like a, a county, like a large county. Okay. Okay. And see, when you say borough here, people don't understand. But like, there's means. a lot more people in Brooklyn than there are in Cuyahoga County. So a county. borough in New York yeah. is a county, basically. Now, now, now I do got to ask y'all. But a too, large county. A large county. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. Back yeah. to the hot dogs. Yeah. Is a hot dog, is a is a sausage a hot dog? No. 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 What do you mean is it a hot dog? Like, so if I get a brat, is that yeah. considered a hot dog? No, no it's a no, brat. It's a brat. <laughs> so, uh, there's a difference. Okay. There's a, there's I like, prefer brats and sausages over hot dogs. Oh, me, me too, right? Yeah, yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, okay. All right, Mikey. Now, I, I do oh. say this. Yeah. When they do the new progressive field, Make sure you got the good brats and sausage joints. Yeah, got, got I ain't you. gonna be watching no game. I yeah. watch a game with two. And give games. me a different flavors. <laughs> give, give me, a, give me, a, give, me a, give me a jalapeno cheddar something. No, I don't like. That. I, I, I like those. I'll eat all of them. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. This next one's a great question. Probably gonna be a little longer than five minutes on this okay. one. Okay. It's from John Deluzzi, Johnny D. Shout yeah. out Johnny D. Okay. It's five years in the future. It's 2028. What is the state of each? Of the Cleveland sports teams. Oh, that's that's a good question. Damn. You want me to go first? Yeah, Brad, oh, hey, you go you first. Go around all, right, the all right, I'll, I'll take it first. You have the Indian, excuse me, the Guardians sitting in a great stead because they just have a good a good system and a good management play. I think the the Guardians could be knocking on championship door again. The Browns. I'm going to trend toward them finally getting it together, right? You could be on the precipice of uh, finalizing the deal for a new Brown Stadium. Mm. Uh, the team heading in a proper direction if the investments we've made now and uh, this year pan out. So I'm going to trend to the fact that at some point the eyes are going to trend towards the Browns being one of the power teams here. It, it comes around to everybody. Damn, it's got to come back to us at some point in time. One of these days, right? And then finally, the Cavaliers, they're set up probably in that fifth year to really be on the precipice of being the elite team if they can add pieces to the three pieces that they have right now. The good thing is here, and I was talking to somebody in the gym about it, Kevin Love has got a huge cap number that's expiring at the end of the year. Levert, you and, and Levert, you you can add some pieces here. Yeah, Jetty too, right? Yeah, you can add some pieces yeah. here, right? So they could be on the on because the, they're not that far away because they're knocking on the door fifth now, right? Yeah. So the the Cleveland teams could be in a good space if they don't do what, overanalyze it, and do more than necessary. Gene, mm. let's say you. Uh, Guardians will be well. Uh, you know, I was a little sick about hearing this. Uh, you know, when you look at you know the TV money that Bally's deal, the, the Guardians are it's concerning. It's Guardians could lose thirty-seven to fifty billion dollars because of Bally folding up. Now, when you're dealing with owners that don't really have the capital, 
like the Dolans have. Mm -hmm. um, that's a that's a large portion of your operating capital. It's like they ain't like they do other things. They right. don't own assets or right. you right. know other businesses. So for me, in five years, I don't think the Dolans own the team. I I think they cash out. I think the, the local uh, the local deals that they're getting for television. Those are a thing of the past. I think the new reality of it in baseball is you're not going to be having all these this this money flowing around. So for me, I think the Dolans understand what it is and they look around and see what other people are overpaying for organizations. So when you cash out, right? If they cash out, think about the next person that steps in. The capital is going to be required. Yeah. So they, I mean, those new ownership groups. This not. This is not. This is This, this, billions, is, not, this is not that, right? No. Yeah. So that means in this market, under the right group with the right capital, you could do some serious damage here. My concern to yo to that point, I just thought about it when I was when you were talking about Tito getting old here. Oh, right. He, he, he ain't gonna be here five years. Nah, I, so, I give him. He's two max. I thought yeah. he might be done. So this who's year? in training? Well, that's a good. Maybe Sandy Alomar Jr. Uh, what about the Browns and the Cavs? Uh, the the Cavaliers, I think they're in a position. I think the Cavaliers in two years will end up in the Eastern Conference Finals. I think Mobley will take a step. However, I do think Donovan Mitchell after that point, I think he'll be out. I agree. So I think at that point you'll be starting to talk about is Evan Mobley enough? I think at that point, five years from now, he'll be a perennial. Mm -hmm. You'll be talking to him about him being an MVP, a defensive player of the year like Giannis is. And then you'll be still trying to figure out where you get an extra piece because you're going to need to replenish that. But I think um, in five years, they'll, they'll be one of the better teams in the East. And then finally with the Browns, I think with the Browns, the Browns will have another coach by then. Um, in um, five years, I think we'll be talking about whether or not, to be honest with you, was the, the the Deshaun Watson move worth it? Right. Five years from now, I think he. If if you think how great it could be, maybe it get to, I don't know, maybe it get to a Super Bowl. But you know, I I don't think they win a Super Bowl in five years. Here, here's the interesting thing. Like, there's a lot of variety of where all these teams could be in five years. The good news is. I could see any of the three winning a championship over the next five years. I don't think any of the three are f that far away that you couldn't realistically see. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. I mean, they have stars. But all three could possibly win a championship. My concern about the Indian, the Guardians, I agree with G. I think the, there's no way that Dolan's still on the team five years from now. And in a way, you think that's a good thing because you think the new owner will have more money. However, the one thing that was great about the Dolans – Mm -hmm. More than way more than the other two owners in this town is they hired great people. Yeah, and they, and they leave out them it. alone. Now yeah. they they have limits in the budget, but as long as they're within the budget, they let Antonetti, Chernoff, and Francona. He lets them do whatever yeah. they want. You're right, and it's paid off. And so the new owner he may spend a little more money, but he may not be like that. He may be more of a meddler. But I think the Guardians, as long as Antonetti and Chernoff are here. Now, I agree with, with Brad also. I'm a little worried about who's next for Francona. I think as long as they have this great front office infra infrastructure, they're always going to be competitive. The Browns, it all depends on Deshaun Watson. Yeah, that's if Deshaun it. Watson this year gets back to being what he was in Houston, then the Browns are going to be at, at least minimum competitive for the Punch, next five puncher's years. Puncher's chance. Right. And, and they could be a lot better than that. My, since I got to make my prediction, I believe Deshaun Watson is going to get back to being that quarterback and being a top 10 guy or whatever, low, lower end of the top tier quarterbacks. And so I think the Browns will be in decent shape. I'm hoping Kevin Stefanski is still the coach because that means things have gone really well. Exactly. But I, if I had to bet today, I agree with you. I bet Stefanski is not the coach. As for the Cavs, I think five years from now is when this good run ends. And I think they're going to be in a bad way in five years because I think they're going to go all in over the next bunch of years. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to lose Donovan Mitchell in the next five years. I think right. they're going to lose Jared Allen or he's not going to be the same player in the right, next, right. you know, by five years from now. Mm -hmm. And so now you got Mobley and Garland. Is one, are one of those guys going to want to leave? You will have given up so many assets you can't replenish. So I think that will be the start of their downturn. I think there will be good times between now and then, yeah. but I think that'll be the start of the downturn for the Cavs. I wholeheartedly agree with everything Bull said there. Right? If all three, if you think all made really good points, Bull, I think that is pretty spot on. We right for the next see. question, we went long on this one. I'm sure we'll go shorter on this one. 
What's your guys' take on the NHL bringing back a team to Cleveland? This is from Brian Moore. Guys, I don't see it happening. I mean, let's face it. Based on population, Cleveland is really a two major league city market. There's no way you could add a fourth major league team. I don't, I don't two, see it. Do you? Uh, there's too there's too many people leaving the the city itself. I don't think the economic dollars are there. I, I argued last year. I, I might not. It might not be economically viable for them to even support three teams right. because the Guardians are the best out of the the three teams. If you look at their their record over the last ten years, and they run the best as far as their farm system. Yet still, their attendance numbers are the lowest. And so yeah, stink. I would even you, you you can't get four. Well, it's hard to do a four team. Um, professional team sport here. I mean, sports in this town. Yeah, they're, they're divvying up the dollar amongst the population, which is not growing. It may be leaving the city of Cleveland, but it's still in the area yeah. in the suburbs, but you're still fighting over the same dollar, right? Right. You know, and this is a team that traditionally the town that really traditionally knows how to support in a way three teams, but only if they're grinding and winning. Yes, right? that's how it works. The highest here. level. That's yeah. how it works here, right? Yeah, so, you can't add another. The, the no. monsters do a nice job as a right. minor league team, but I think I think that's the capper. Not that I mean there are a lot of hockey fans in the area, certainly, but, but it, 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 here, I don't think it's enough. I'll go back show. to and they ain't really no hockey fans, it's a few, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a few. Right. I'll go back to when they had to even had the Barons here. Mm -hmm. Years ago in the seventies, yeah. right? And it just never really drew. I mean it drew a select group of people. You've got yeah. some of these high schools that U.S. and Shaker and stuff like that. It's feed right. Cleveland Heights feed to this, the hockey program, but yeah. Overall, this is three teams. Three yeah, sports I mean, I wonder yeah. if we'll have it. Uh, the Arena Football League announced they're coming back with 16 teams. Maybe you'll have an arena team, but that's not that kind of money. I mean, and, the, and the monsters do just fine. Yeah, they do well. They, they, they put well, a good product. They put up well, a good no, product. There's no and, doubt. Yeah. And and so the, the other thing is that to those sports there, it's affordable. Right. Yeah. You know, this goes back to my thing about the sitting out and the load management. You think about that. I got three kids, right? I got four, but I'm saying I'm using it like I got mm -hmm. three, right? Yeah. And I had to pony up for the ticket for my kid. The kid was waiting to see Steph Curry. Yeah. Right? Oh. It only come one time. Mm -hmm. I got these tickets in advance. I'm doing yeah. a great daddy thing. I'm getting the daddy of the year award, right? Pony up this money. And you didn't already told him, but six months in advance, we got the right, tickets. Cause, well, because you got to go to the game. Right. You got to pay the parking, right? You got to feed them, right? Yep. So this is a big, fortune. this is a big production. They want to buy a t-shirt. Right, right. Or this, this is a big production. And then I get there and the night before Steve Kerr talking about, I'm sitting there right now. You doing yeah. what? What you doing? You got your, 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 your JVB team out yeah. there. I'm like, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. So I'm just saying that's why it's hard. Yeah. Those sports there, the other sports there, they have a ticket that's affordable. Right, right. Mikey? I love this next question. This is from Aaron Weaver, and I have an answer for this one too, but you'll go first. What's a 30 for 30 that hasn't been made yet that you think should be made? Shout out to Aaron Weaver, sister uh Haley Weaver plays for Northwestern uh, oh, really? Wildcats basketball huh. and a great family and uh, full disclosure, her and Cheyenne played together uh, on, a, on an AAU yeah. team. But I mean, he's a graduate of Xavier University. Uh, the 30 for 30? Yeah, what's a 30 for 30 that hasn't been done? Go, I, have a, I have a good one. Go ahead, Mikey. What do you got? Okay, this one has not been made yet. I do think it oh, should I be made. Oh, I got a good one. Yeah. The 2008... Florida Gators national championship football team and what was going on at campus at that time with Tim Tebow, Aaron Urban, Meyer, Urban Meyer, Aaron Hernandez, Riley Cooper, Percy, Riley Cooper obviously Percy yeah. had yeah. some racial slurs that got him in a lot yeah. of trouble. Uh, the Pouncey Twins mm -hmm. on that team as well. Ooh. Also, you had Dan Blazarian, the poker player turned influencer running around on campus, and Ryan Lochte. No idea who that is. The younger people know who that okay. is. And Ryan Lochte, the All-American swimmer, All right. at the same time. Plus, they won the, the championship in basketball that year as well. So you had Joakim Noah, Al Horford, Corey Brewer, that whole squad. Yeah. What campus that's life gonna, was like. That's going to take days. What <laughs> campus mm. life was like at pretty, the University of Florida with all those characters. I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you a 30 for 30. There hadn't been a 30 for 30 on Jim Brown in Cleveland. Mm. So if you know... Uh, the stories, the alleged stories about Jim Brown here in Cleveland, yeah. right? And the days of the Browns, that'd be a 30 for 30. The 30 for 30 does some things. 30 for 30 is not just the sports. Right. 30 for 30 is about the side story that, that you don't know, right? That's true. And so I'm surprised that it hadn't been a 30 for 30 on Jim Brown. 
Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm stingy. I would do, uh, I would do a 30 for 30 on a Maslin McKinley rivalry and how, uh, um, <laughs> that's only a, that only a mouse at Maslin and McKinley. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> McKinley, we, we just hit, I mean, outside like Tyvis, but we got the most wins in basketball. We the only public school with two state championships back to back. It took me, you know, it took Glenville a long time. It's hard to do. That was, a, that was tough. Bro. A lot of McKinley he was people. just beating when he was just beating Chuck Kyle. You don't beat Coach Kyle. Coach Kyle is like you're just Jim Trestle. I love the McKinley people. I tell you what. Now here, but I, all jokes aside, the thirty for thirty I want to see is uh, I want to see I want to I want this first person to get the 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 rebuttal. It's the rebuttal to the last dance, right? So I, I want LeBron because I know he got it. I know you got the archives. You know what I'm saying? I, I want the King's Court. That's coming. I, I want I want yeah, from, that's gonna I want time. from day one. Yeah. He from hour one when you came into the game. But we want the truth. But I, I want, want the truth. I want you but I want the way it happened with Dwayne Wade on the plane. Did you really ghost him? Did J.R. Smith really throw the, that rice soup at people? I need you to uh, figure out. You had the whole nine. I, I, I want. Did what you, happened with him and Kyrie? Him and Kyrie. Do you talk? You was at the Nike headquarters. And by the way, do you regret going to L.A.? And by the way, did you already know before when my career started? I said I'm gonna play in Cleveland. I'm gonna play in Miami. And I'm gonna play in LA. Did you even plan on going back to Cleveland? And didn't you just say you weren't coming? I need all of that. <laughs> I need all of it. And do you think your son was really that good, or you just orchestrated? <laughs> mm. I, I actually, you know, this is a little selfish, but th the Browns, the Jimmy Haslam years, like all the the nonsense, like Josh Gordon, Peyton Hillis. I could go on and on. Like everything that, like just. Joe Banner and Jimmy Haslam being thrown together. Facts. Um, all the coaching changes. Manziel. All the stuff behind the scenes. Manziel, Baker. I mean, disguises. You could do 10 episodes on OBJ. It. Yeah. Uh, actually, to be truthful, that is a four part series, and I've never. Well, you yeah. Could, you could do some Cleveland 30 for 30s that are. Oh, just, yeah. Here's a 30 for 30 for you. Give me the story of Albert Bell. Oh, yeah, that's another Ooh. one. I know Jason Lloyd's been working on that, that for a while. That is another Ooh. one. What happened to you? public knowledge yet. Right. Ooh. Well, I'm also, a different AB, how about the, uh, someone put in the YouTube chat, the downfall of Antonio Brown, a 30 for 30 on his. <laughs> that ain't even that, that, I actually that, don't that, give a that, crap that, about that Antonio Brown. Yeah, uh, I don't see that. <laughs> this, I, I think, I, and I don't want to put that on nobody, but, man, he got a lot of symptoms of, I, he not yeah yeah he something not, ain't right he not yeah. right man he no, just it, right. it's a lot of football players and, and and another thing the thirty for thirty Willie McGinnis man what what, what was that bro <laughs> no. the Patriot way we'll talk about it like <laughs> yo I, I would like a thirty for thirty on Bill Belichick another one like um you know what do you do with your money like I <laughs> I saw him one day at the at the combine he was at his at his table. Yeah. He was at his table with a dog there, and it looked like some old farm table. I'm like, bro, this cat Bill Belichick yeah. is on some other type stuff. All right, let's get one more here, Mike. You got one Mikey? more, then we'll bring Jake Trotter in. This is from our boy Eddie. It's yeah. a long question, so bear with me. Why is it illegal for athletes to take steroids in order to come back from injury faster, but it's legal for guys to take a bunch of shots in order to continue playing in a game where they got injured? Or got shots before a game in order to play. Um, okay, so go ahead. The, the steroids are longer lasting. The guys that take the injections, the, the just to get back on the field for that day is only right. for hours, right? Because you could. I'm sure Mahomes took a shot to play in that game, and I'm sure at some point during the game he was back to regular pain, right? Yep. The, the steroids have a longer lasting effect. Right. They have a uh, a well known side effect. Uh, and so I, that's why I, that's the difference between the and, two. And the steroids make you stronger. Yeah, and can be. You, yes. Right, can, mm -hmm. especially in conjunction with working out. Whereas like a pain-killing yeah. shot is just taking away your pain right. temporarily. I, I, it's different. I, I, I hate the fact that steroids have been, have ruined the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah. I would put those guys in. I mean, it's just like, there are guys in there, I'm sure, that took steroids or did whatever. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I just think it's stupid for us to legislate that, but... It, it, there is a difference. Well, I, I think it all it all boils down to Eddie. I would say, if you've learned nothing from watching the UCSS when we we go through 
uh, the Deshaun Watson, or yeah. we hear about, uh, you know, Jimmy Haslam and the rebate program, or even some of these newer scandals, <laughs> is it always boils down to liability. If you let somebody take steroids, which are illegal in our country, right, to right. not use them, um, you are then saying you, it's okay to break the law. And even if they were legal, they could come back against you and say, well, you know what, you took, you let us take steroids, now I have cancer. There's a liability with that as well because they're saying you you willfully let people take steroids, and I don't even believe in. I'll, I'll say this though, I think I think um, even shooting people up with steroids or shooting people up with painkillers is is another thing that ch chances are they won't even tell you to be throwing that out there. If you notice, very many players you assume they shot their leg up. They don't come out and say I'm getting That's shot true. up. You don't hear about it because no. because even with that you can injure yourself more because you don't feel the pain and you know it's like saying can you can you go take a bunch of oxycotton's if my ankle hurt tomorrow. Right, right. In, in the game. No, you can't. That's you, that's just substance abuse. So there's a lot of little gray areas and different things and and people do, but it's just boils down to uh, a bunch of rich people don't want to be sued. Later. All right. How many fan questions do we get in so far? So far, that was, let me do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. 